Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 14 beta 7 which has recently been released. Now, it took Apple quite a few days to release this beta. Usually they release it on a Tuesday. They went on and released it on a Thursday this week. Now, I was scared that they one was going to move to the two week schedule from now on, but looks like they're keeping their one week schedule. Of course, we had iOS 13.7 again released and that probably has just pushed away the release of beta 7 for a few days. But of course, Apple is holding to their one week schedule for releasing iOS 14 betas and that's really, really great. And we have some big news regarding iOS 14. So we're going to discuss all about that in this video. But first of all, let's take a look at the new features that you will find on iOS 14 beta 7. Starting things off with the wallpapers. If you go to the wallpapers on iOS 14 beta 7 and you go to the stills here, you can see that the rainbow wallpapers now have a dark mode. So whenever you set one of these wallpapers on light mode, you will get this view. Whenever you go ahead and enable dark mode and you set one of these wallpapers, you will get just a black wallpaper with the rainbow stripes on it. So it will basically be the same for all the different colors. You will set like different color, it will be different on the light mode, but when you go to the dark mode, it will always be black. There's also a change on app library. We have a new category here for travel, and we have also some renaming here. We have productivity and finance, and we have information and reading as well. Now, overall, app library has been improved a lot with beta 7. The apps are way more organized, and you can see right here, the other section, this is interesting, only includes two apps. Now, beta 6, I had here probably like 15 or more apps, so any like app that Apple didn't know how to categorize them, they would just put them in here. So now we have only two apps right there. So I have like wallpaper app here and the feedback app. So that's really, really cool. So overall, they are way better organized. And of course, they are more accurate with the organization. And of course, all the different like folders that they have put the fold the basically the apps in. Another smaller change that you will notice on iOS 14 beta 7 right here on the email app. Now on beta 6, the sender name was on blue. Now they have changed it back to the black color. So that has been changed as well. Another really cool thing is that on app library on beta 6, there was a bug where you could not like tap the first app here. So on any folder, like the first app there wasn't able to open directly from here, had to open the folder in order to open that app. That has been fixed as well. And of course, is a very, very welcome change. Now all the apps here that are the first ones on the folder open the minute you tap them. There was also a huge bug with the AirPods pop up. When you connect AirPods to your device, you will notice like a pop up there that shows the name of the AirPods. It used to show this text on beta 6 and now fortunately Apple has fixed that. Performance wise, iOS 14 beta 7 seems to be very, very stable. I did run a Geekbench test on this beta and I got this score right here. So we have 1337 for the single core score which is the exact same as beta 6 and we have a decrease here on the multi-core score so we have 3480 while we had 3540 on beta 6 but that's of course nothing big that of course will change with the final release of ios 14 beta and now we have to talk about that that's the big news that we get out of this release out of the beta 7 release the release of iOS 14 to the public. Let's talk about that and when can we expect it and why the release of this beta is such a big news. The big news regarding this release is the build number. If you go ahead and take a look at the build number of iOS 14 beta 7, you can notice that it ends with a B. That means that we're very close to the release of the final version of iOS 14, which I truly believe will be through the mid of this month might be on the 17th i'm just saying but it might be because of this build number right here taking a look back at history on ios 12 ios 13 beta the beta that ended with a b then was followed up by a beta that ends with an a which will be the final beta and then we have the gm and the final release so we probably will have another beta coming next week that will be like september 7th or 8th i believe and then we should see after that the GM version, which would probably be the next week after this one. So 
around the mid of September, I expect Apple to release iOS 14 to the public, maybe 17th, I'm just saying, but I don't know exactly, but we should see that coming very, very soon, probably around two to three weeks maximum, we will have iOS 14 getting released to the public. Of course, always based on the history of releases, on build numbers of previous iOS versions like iOS 12 and iOS 13. You can see that the B then is followed with an A and then the GM version, which is basically the final version, but it first gets released to the devs before getting released to the public. So expect iOS 14 to come out to the public this month. So as for beta 8, you can expect it to come next week. Probably it will be on the 8th of September. That will be a Tuesday if Apple follows, of course, the same schedule that they have been following lately. And of course, during the past years as well. So next week at the beginning, Tuesday, as I said, you can expect iOS 14 beta 8 to come out iOS 14 beta 7 seems to be very stable. Beta 6 was really good for me. Battery life was not that good sometimes, but it's still beta, of course. We have a few weeks more and probably it will be improved quite a bit. So should you install iOS 14 beta 7 or not on your device? Of course you should. Always go ahead and update the latest software because always you will have all those bug fixes and all that stuff that you need on your device, of course, despite the new features always you need bug fixes, improvements, and all that. So make sure you go ahead and install iOS 14 beta 7 on your device. Of course, if you already have beta 6 or have any other betas of iOS 14. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. iOS 14 beta 7, a very good release. And of course, it tells us that iOS 14 is very close to being released to the public probably this month according to the build number of iOS 14 beta 7 which ends with a B. We will have another beta next week ending with an A and then of course the GM and the final release. I believe it should be September 17th from some reports that I have read on the internet and stuff like that but we will have to wait and see of course that's like nothing confirmed but according to history according to these releases we can like estimate a probable release date for ios 14 to the public so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos i will see you guys on the next one